It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. It was fun. So we have Johnny Cage versus Kano. I didn't see the variation that was selected. <laughs> I'm not familiar with these players. Doesn't have. It's not a list. It doesn't have the black uh, tape. So it means that he either went stunt double or he went. Um, uh, looks like he's a uh, stunt double because he doesn't have the brass knuckles. Yes, correct. So he is stunt double. So I believe with this may be moving into pull two. Right uh, but no, Justin Wong still has a match, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah but uh, I think I think they're running the beginning of pool two and the end of pool one at the same time. So they're probably like finishing a match that was off stream and they'll probably put that back on or something like right. that. Okay. Because so, uh, these guys were definitely not in pool one. So we've got Jayford and Z Baby. I I'm not too familiar with either of these players. No, am I? But uh, uppercut very nice. Cybernetic Kano with an extremely annoying zoning. Correct. Uh, I uh, I would like to let you Dave know that I'm probably going to get a nerf again. I'm just kidding. I hope that that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Not really doing optimal combo. Oh, doesn't even get the nut punch at the end, but uh, I think he could have got at least close to, oh wow, he's just weird. Yep, uh, comes down and uh, gets a little launch off of it. Very nice. Now, Cybernetic Kano in a extremely strong zoner, but so is Stunt Double Zonny Cage. You get to see a little, uh, little bit of Kenshi. Getting hit off by a lot of those mid knives, even more than the chip, uh, it's the meter building that's really scary off of those knives. I mean, Cybernetic Kano does have an armored combo starter in Eye Laser, EX Eye Laser, so you know you'll really have to watch out for that, especially you know Johnny. Nice uppercut. Kano's got a seven frame uppercut. Boy, that's a lot of knives. Ooh, doesn't quite get the nut punch. Try to go for a four-three nut punch. I think just got the four-three. Now I would like to see Jayford, or no, I'm sorry, uh, I'd like to see Z-Baby do a few more like full screen shadow kicks with this, uh, this trade up right here. <laughs> this jab to death. All right, Fight. so final Fight. round here. Fight. And there's the shadow kick. Extremely fast recovery though, as you yeah, saw there. Correct. All right, Z-Baby gets in. Let's see how well Jayford gets out of the cage pressure. Forward 3-4. Of course, only an A-list can Johnny Cage really get a conversion off of his forward three that's safe. Uh, Johnny Cage just have a six second cooldown on stunt double reload. And no matter where you are in your cooldown, even if you're on second number five, if once you use your last stunt double, the, the, the cooldown resets again back to six. Interesting. Interesting. So you could be put in a situation where you have an 11 second. Wow. Hope someone got a and shot at that. Ooh, gets it with the uppercut. The Kano has a very far reaching, really fast uppercut. Kano but uh, yeah, that, that was interesting. One thing that I did notice is uh, that I guess uh, you know, we didn't get to see was you can kind of reload your your stunt doubles now. So Correct. when you have only one left, you can get a second. So you can always do. There's a, oh, what? You can always do. Really? That's right, sorry. Maybe it was a cooldown that I'm messing me up. But, you know, really figuring out when your cooldown's off when you only have one and being able to redo it so you don't spend your second one and get on that cooldown again is pretty important for stunt double Johnny's players. Correct. In fact, I wouldn't even use that one until I reload it. Yep. Because then no matter where you are in your cooldown, you're going to, once you use that one, your cooldown is going to reset. Yep. 1-1-3, one, one, nut punch. That's the man in the tailpipe there. Gotta watch out for that low. Yep. And some of these strings are still catching people. And there we go. Jump in. Now, uh, there wasn't even really a need for him to go for that 1-1-3 one, one, nut punch. Actually, I mean, he can just do 1-1-3 one, one, into the shadow uppercut. Since he had right. on. So not only, not only would it launch for a combo, a bigger when, combo, but When down plus. four hits, you also get a guaranteed stunt double. Good to know. Oh yeah, I've also heard he gets a, a guaranteed uh, fisticuffs electricity thingy. Correct. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. But the fisticuffs, I don't believe, uh, is big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Maybe if you're in the corner or something. But Depending on where your meter is at the time, you know, and then you have to be a force ball traps and stuff like that. Yep. All right, so Jayford, he's on match point right here. Ooh, doesn't get a combo, but staggers some back twos and catches uh, Z-Baby off guard. Gonna see the combo, uh, no doesn't quite finish. 
Gotta convert on those combos. I'd like to see Z maybe using again a little bit more of those shadows. I mean, that is the point of the variation. Correct. You know, get some. Uh, get there. We go. Get the knockdown. Either get in or maybe even you know get your uh, get your own zoning started. I mean, stunt double Johnny Cage. Not the best zoning in the game, but but still very effective zoning, especially you know if you're trying to counter zone, for instance, Kano. Yeah, and you tried to X-ray there, but didn't have the life. Yep.